In this Debaco University video, I'm going to handle the often controversial properly naming of cannabis and how we should go about that. All right, let's get into properly naming cannabis or really any plant. So first off, it's often asked, should we use the term strain or variety or sativa or indica or hybrid or something else? And really all the above terms are inaccurate. Really cultivar is what should be used because this is a cultivated variety. So cultivar is where we can get that cultivar is kind of how we're getting that. Uh, we want to be sure we're using the right tool for the, the job. And this is the proper way to go about naming plants that's been established. Now, just taking another plant as an example, for example, an apple here, uh, the Macintosh apple, uh, we could see here that should proper uh, scientific uh, names uh, should usually be italicized, as far as the botanical name for all eating apples. Macintosh, between single quote, quote marks and Roman letters, is the cultivar name. So here we could see Malus pomea, and then we have the Macintosh. This name helps distinguish it from the hundreds of other cultivars of apples. So this same concept uh, botanically should be also applied to cannabis. Now sadly it's not really being applied in this way, but at least this would be the proper way uh, to name this. So word of caution, uh, just in general, contrary to what you may have heard, the distinctions between the different varieties is uh, genetically debated. Differences in morphologies are the main source of classification, with many new crossbreeding occurring. There's been mixing types leading to the blurring between the two groups. So for example, this leaf morphology has a strong sativa indication, uh, where this went right below me has more of an indica kind of morphology. Uh, but keep in mind with the hybrids and the breeding that's occurring, you can get sometimes a blending or a mixing um, of the two quite often. Uh, even though we say, might just look at this quick image and say, oh yeah, sativa and indica uh, might be more to it than just that. So that requires that genetic testing. So the is a work in progress, a library of different genetics. There's no clear link between plant morphology and cannabinoids produced. This is another important distinction that just because uh, we see an indica or a sativa name, we can't automatically associate a certain amount of cannabinoids or terpenes with that variety, with that cultivar, if you will. So as a result, we need to be aware of the differences that occur, the hybrids that occur, we have to look more at the chemical profile uh, and not just indica or sativa when we're talking about cannabis as is so often done. Now, name is sometimes uh, meaningless. Another issue is consistency among the varieties. People will purchase the same variety from two different shops with vastly different effects. This is because the lack of our current genetic screening and also checking to help ensure consistency. This is part of the issues with cannabis is that lack of consistency on many fronts. So the general classification of cannabis, as we can see here, cannabis is classified as cannabis sativa regardless of its origin. However, it can be further classified into three main classifications, the sativa, the indica, or the ruralis. Uh, so the ruralis is the auto flowers. So those are gonna flower based on day old, not um, photo period. And we have our indicas and our sativa, which are photo period dependent. And if you give you a general kind of morphology of the leaf and plant structure, you can see that here. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how to properly classify and name uh, cannabis, even though it may not be the current system that is being utilized. 